guys, welcome back to the channel. Tommy the Hammer here, hanging out with BC, Johnny Rocket, and we've got an interesting pick. BC, what is that interesting pick? Well, it's actually three picks. It is three short films from the director Toshiaki Toyota. He's done Nine Souls and Blue Spring, which we've reviewed on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, we like his work, and it's just this interesting, like, thematically connected set of films. Uh, they're all angry, they're all dealing with like political stuff in Japan, but it has like a punk vision to it. And I don't know, I just think everyone will enjoy it. I'm excited to show it. But. Yes, I always trust BC's judgment as does Just Johnny. about to say the same thing. Absolutely, and we are going to see about digging up some form of a trailer. Triple Keep trailer that shit! Treat. <laughs> and when we get back, you're going to know our opinions on the box set, the films, the myth, the legend. Trash, everyone. We just got done watching a trilogy of films from the director Toshiaki Toyota. Yeah. He directed Blue Spring and Nine Souls, which are a lot different from this, but his style still kind of sticks out. Um, and the films are called Wolf's Calling, Day of Destruction, and Go Seppuku Yourselves, in that order. Um, they, they are political films. They are kind of relating to the director's life, too. Uh, the first one, there's a gun. He was arrested for having an antique gun that was passed down to him through his family. And that was, like, giving him some bullshit in his life. And makes he was, more sense. Now. And he was already a director that earlier in his career was arrested for having drugs. It was, like, marijuana. But it, like, had a big impact on well, his career at yeah, that right. time. Well, yeah, right. That's a big no-no back. So he's, like, pretty anti-establishment. So it's, like... If I had to think of something maybe popular in the U.S., like the, the feeling, the energy, the emotion behind it that relates to this, it makes me think of like Rage Against the Machine. It's like really pissed off about a lot of bad shit that's going on. And like that can be a lot to listen to all the time. So you have to be in the right mood to like really enjoy it. But when you're in that mood, it's like therapeutic. You're like, yeah, dude, fuck all that shit. And, like we've been through a lot of shit. Yes. Um, I don't necessarily have the same story as you, but I got hardships like you. That shit's tough. COVID, we, like, we all had a universal experience with that as a species. Like, that's crazy. And it was yeah. terrible for all of us. Yeah. Um, and this came out around that time. And so, yeah, I don't know. I think, like, as an art housey, but, like, also punk kind of just piece of cinema, this trilogy is pretty fantastic. Gosh, it's so powerful. <laughs> It's just, it's 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 ridiculous. Like you, you see and feel everything that he wants you to see and feel. Like I, I, I felt a, a super strong connection, you know. And, and I mean, I'm kind of glad I've watched movies like Nine Souls before, so I kind of you know get that feel. Like I, I'm at least familiar enough with his work that you know I can feel you know the emotion he's trying to convey. You know, and it just it, it made that so much more powerful this time around. Like I can't even like, um, oh man, if I can watch this again, and I probably, probably will watch this again at some point, I'll just be like floor just as hard, if not even more. Yeah. You know, because like there, there's so much going on here. Like you you can't drink it in all at once. 
everything's handled in such an abstract way with these films that you got to kind of fill in the gaps yourself. And if you're not into that, if you're not into a vague nature, uh, you know, or an abstract execution, you might come into these movies and be like, how boring, how weird, how annoying, whatever. Um, but for anyone that's trying to look at something that's not, you know, with a bunch of CGI rammed up your ass, with the, you know, the flavor of the month actor, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to watch a vision. You're trying to watch a concept. You're trying to think outside the box for once, for fucking once. And this, these three films that BC showed us tonight, yeah, I mean, I mean, there were certain elements to it that I gelled with. There were certain elements that I didn't. But if you're a fan of the director's work and you want to watch something that's a little more bite-sized, check it out. Tommy the Hammer gives um, at least the three films I saw in this box set right here. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Um, I would like to revisit it. I'm going to settle at, I'm going with a flat eight right now. This is one of those times where I feel a little awkward giving a star count, honestly. <laughs> you know, like... That's the totally <laughs> I mean, I... I I mean, this, this is so, so good to feel so cutting edge to me. It's like, who, who am I as like a Johnny Rod random film watcher to like try to rate a movie like this? Like, this is this is just I don't know. It, it's it's a cut above. You know, it's it's something a little beyond that. Like it, it's you know, who am I to critique art? You know, like this 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 film feels like art. It's not just a film. It's art. You know, so who the fuck am I to judge this? So I can't get it in less than ten out of ten stars. Damn. Like this was, Hell this yeah. was, I, I enjoyed it very much. This is a very angry set of films, and I and I think that transition from what we knew is like the sadder films to these kind of angrier films, mm -hmm. um, and dealing with political, like just bad life shit. Like that was universal. That's crazy. Um, so I, I love everything about this. We know the actors. We've seen them before. We like all them. Um, I, I'm gonna go with a 10 out of 10. It's just, I like everything in it. And I have good news, he's like still making shorts that are apparently gonna maybe still be kind of in this weird universe. <laughs> and he does- I'm very really excited. He does have another film that came out in 2021 that is like, it's on this island, like small island somewhere in Japan. And it's dealing with like all traditional Japanese instruments. And it's like a music film, but like set in that place. It's like an hour and a half long. I have never watched a movie that like made me feel like I transcended more in my whole entire life. Like, I felt like I went to a different world. It was like these primordial sounds that were like hitting my soul. And like with the same cinematography though. So it's Damn. like you know he's looping you in that way. So I need to find a way to bring that sometime. Because I know we just like everything from this guy. Koshiaki Toyota. Excellent decision for tonight. It's a um, fantastic yeah. addition to Neon Trash. Thank you for bringing this. Yeah, you, you gotta love the BC element of the channel here. Like, it, it, it's, it's curveball. Been, um, yeah, you never know what you're gonna get with me. I mean, real. But you kind of you kind of do at the same time. You, you do what you don't. don't. Yeah, you do what you don't. No, it's this gonna is be a... Japanese. It's gonna be interesting, but like funny, weird, angry. You never know. Until the next time, guys. Adjust your internets to neon trash. We'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. I would. <laughs>